Welcome to Outside Agents. We're so excited to have you as our newest business partner. You're probably feeling a bit overwhelmed right now, but don't worry. We are here to help. This is your quick start guide for getting started with OA. We'll cover additional items through regular emails with important hints and tips, through our mentoring program, and during later trainings. After completing the new agent orientation, you will have a better understanding of the My Agent Genie Travel Agent Portal, including navigation, key areas, and main functions, how to set up your profile, and how to start using the most active travel agent community in the industry today. We'll also cover My Agent Genie Learning Management System and how you can use that to boost your sales, boost your client satisfaction, and earn access to perks such as FAMS and Bonus Commission, everyone's favorite. We'll also go over My Agent Genie Client Relationship Management. And we'll teach you how to make a booking, get paid, track your business, and more. And finally, we'll cover My Agent Genie SOS, how you can search answers, get expedited help, and track and research replies. To be radically successful, explore and learn new things each day. Be curious about problems, not defeated by them. Ask questions to get new information. A willingness to explore is the biggest key to success. Curiosity and desire to find solutions to your questions will carry you very far in life. This is true when it comes to being successful in general, as a travel consultant, and also as a partner with outside agents too. Take time to play in the mag suite. Enter clients into the CRM. Ask and answer questions on the forums. Try Power Agent. Explore mag LMS and don't be afraid to mess up. Seriously, don't ever worry about breaking something. If you do, great. Shoot us over a mag SOS ticket and we'll walk you through it. That helps you and allows us to make the system a little better in the process. When you log into the My Agent Genie Travel Agent Portal, you start on the landing page. Here you can access the other areas of the MAG Suite, recent discussions, site navigation, and more. On the top right is the My Agent Genie Navigation menu. These buttons lead you to the different areas of the MAG Suite. MagTap is your travel agent portal where you can gain access to all the resources you need as a travel professional. MagTap is the hub. MagLMS will take you to the My Agent Genie Learning Management System. The LMS is trackable training that currently includes video lessons and quizzes. Understand that your knowledge is critical to your success as a travel professional. We're continually investing in new training technology for you. In fact, we've won three Magellan Awards in a row for our training. Don't miss our MAG LMS lessons coming up. MAG CRM is where you'll manage the travel portion of your business. There you'll add clients, enter trips and bookings, create invoices, generate automated client communications, track your commissions, and much more. We'll go over how to do all this, including how to add clients, add bookings, and track commissions in a later lesson. MAG SOS is your support desk. Using your MAG LMS login, you can access MAG Suite FAQs, submit suggestions for improvements, request access to vendor sites, submit questions and concerns, and more. Need to find something? Use the magnifying glass to search the entire site for what you're looking for. Just click. Type your search. You can either wait for suggestions to load or hit enter. From there, you'll be taken to a search results page. It will give you all the search results and it will also break down the search results by where they're located. So whether it's in blog posts, foreign to topics, or activities, it will be available to you. MagTap is our outside agents only social media site and is considered the most active agent community in the industry today. 
Tap allows you to customize your profile, add pictures, track your LMS courses, add friends, groups, and more. The most important part is that it allows you to communicate with other OA agents via chat or forums. There you can ask questions, give advice, share ideas, and have fun with your peers. It's a great place to find answers to those one-off questions. Plus, our preferred vendors and internal staff members are on there as well. All your activities on the forums, in the LMS, and more increase your chances of getting invited to industry events like FAMS, earning bonus commissions, and more. Make sure to set up your profile and start getting to know your fellow agents today. The recent discussion section is located on the landing page when you first log in to the MagTap. This lists the most recent active threads on the TRAP forum. You'll be able to see the thread title, number of people interacting in the thread, the number of posts, and the most recent responder. This is the best place to see what is trending in the forums and is a great way to see what your fellow travel professionals are talking about. But before you can start contributing to the forums, you need to update your profile. To update your profile, locate the My Wall button in the left-hand menu. Hover over it and select the profile option. On the Profiles tab, you can edit and view your profile. Edit view. You can update your profile image, your cover photo, add your social media handles, and more. To edit your profile, click on Edit down below. and enter the information you want. You can also set your privacy settings to everyone, only me, all members, and my friends. Each field has its own set of privacy settings. So feel free to fill out all the information and then change the privacy settings as you see fit. Also under the wall tab is the OA community section. Here, you can view all members, people you've added as friends, active clubs, and people that are currently enrolled in TAP LMS training. If you need advice or are looking for an answer to a question, the forums is a great place to start. There you can communicate with your peers, learn best practices, receive advice about what vendors to work with, and more. Head to the Discussions tab. You have three choices, hot topics, recent discussions, and discussion topics. If you select hot topics, this will take you to not only our most recent topics, but the most popular. Here you'll see a large amount of voices and posts. These are posts that people are, or threads, that people are really interacting with. Um, so you're gonna have a lot of different people and a lot of content being produced there. Those are a great place to get answers to questions, but also to see what's trending. Recent discussions are the most recent posts. So they might not have a lot of activity, but you'll still be able to see what they're named, the amount of people on there, the amount of posts, and the most recent poster. These are going to be the newest things that have come to the forum. Discussion topics is a list of all the topics alphabetically. Um, they're housed in a forum, which is listed in alphabetical order. To see the different threads in the forum, just click on the name and then you'll get access to the most recent posts. Want peer feedback in real time? Make sure to utilize our Let's Chat area. To sign in, click on the toggle menu and click on sign in. You can either create an account or you can utilize one of your profiles 
from either Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus to log in. Now you can start talking with your peers. If you minimize the chat, it will give you an alert every time there is a new message. We also have groups. Groups are clubs based on subject. You can join groups based on location, niche, etc. Groups allow you to communicate with your fellow agents on subjects that are relevant to you. Public groups are available to everyone. Click on the group name to view the thread. However, you won't be able to comment until you join the group. We also have private groups. They require you to request membership before you can view the threads or comments in the group. Have what it takes to be number one? See if you make the cut when you check out our leaderboard. View the top 30 agents for the month and what the threshold was to make the cut. I can't wait to see your name on this list. MAG LMS is Outside Agents Exclusive Learning Management System. In the LMS, you'll be able to find a preferred subject, select courses within that subject, and take lessons. Complete the subject to receive a master's accreditation. The system will also allow you to track your live trainings with OA, and you'll be able to upload accreditations earned from outside sources such as CLIA, vendor trainings, etc. It's extremely important to take advantage of the courses that are available to you in the LMS. In this ever-changing, nuanced industry, you need to take every opportunity to set yourself apart from the Costco's and Expedia's. Positioning yourself as the knowledgeable subject matter expert is the best way to do this. By taking courses in the LMS, attending live trainings, and uploading your additional trainings, you'll also earn the opportunity to attend special events such as FAMS, go on agent retreats, earn bonus commission, and more. These are opportunities that in the past have been offered predominantly to agents who have already produced revenue for the vendor offering the event or have already sold to earn the commission bonus. We believe that the time you dedicate to training is important and we want to reward you for expanding your knowledge. In the future, completing this training will also give you access to additional free marketing direct mail and e-marketing pieces. Just another great reason to continue your travel agent education. We currently have three training subjects available in the LMS, MagTap Quick Start, which focuses on how to utilize MagTap, MagTap CRM, Lessons include how to manage clients, track bookings, and commissions. We'll also go over this later in the QSG, but in much less detail. And OA technology. It actually covers a wide variety of technology. So you'll talk about technology that OA offers, as well as some integration technology for things like your website and your Facebook page. MagCRM is our OA exclusive customer relationship manager, a one-stop shop to store client information, manage bookings, and track commission payments. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to add clients, trips, bookings, and how to track commissions. Please make sure to add your trips and bookings into the system within 48 hours of booking. If your booking is not in the system, we won't be able to direct any client or vendor calls to you or assist if you have any issues. So the first thing we're going to do is add a client. Select Client Management in the left-hand menu, and then on the right, click the green Add Client button. I'm going to start by adding my client's first name, last name, and their address. and then I'm going to hit save. After selecting the client type. Now I can go back and add the additional information. This would include any notes, um, a passport number, 
if I want to fill out more information in the client profile as well. Now that I've added my client, I can add a trip. A trip is not necessarily a booking that's already been made, but you have to add the trip before you can add the client booking. A trip could be a quote or just what the client has called to say they're interested in. To add a trip, go to the trip tab underneath the client profile. There, click the green add trip button. Select the trip type, the start date, Make sure to add the zeros in front or it will not save. Add the trip end date and the trip status. Currently this trip will be active. Once the trip status changes, whether that's booked, canceled, paid, ready to travel or traveled, you can update that going to add the trip description. I like to do last name, first name, um, the type of trip, and then add any additional traveler information after that. So this is Doe, Jamie, um, Royal, Caribbean, Cruise, Harmony of the Seas, 2017, and she is going with Doe Jack and Doe John. Once I add that information in, I hit save. Oh, make sure you select the carrier type. It won't let you save if you don't. This is going to be a cruise line. After that, you can actually enter the cruise line information by typing the first few letters. I'm going to select Royal Caribbean International. And now I'm going to hit save. And voila. My trip is added. I now can add additional traveler info. You should create a individual uh, client profile for each client traveling. Right. I can also add any notes I want to um, and any payments by adding the booking, which is what we'll do next. Now that I've added my client information and my trip information, I need to add my booking information. In, in the trip I have created, I'm now going to go to the Bookings tab. Click on it and click on the green Add Booking button. Now I'm going to fill out some additional trip information. I'm going to use the booking number from the vendor. Since this is not a real trip, I'm going to have to make one up. I'm going to add the booking date, which in this instance is today, the package price, the commission earned. Now, um, you may not know the exact commission at the, this time. That is okay. Make a educated guess, all right? Um, we just need to know to have an idea of what to look for, but ultimately we're going to reconcile it based on the information the cruise line sends back. But I got a really good deal. So um, there was bonus commission on this trip. So I'm going to say I'm getting $1,200. Um, I'm going to add the tour operator as well. Um, because I do not select the 
type of vendor, there are going to be more options in this list. So you're going to have to type a little more information. There's Royal Caribbean International. Booking status is active. Agent name is my name. I'm going to hit save. And that's it. My booking is now added. So I've added my client information, my trip, and my booking information. So now I know I can keep an eye out for that commission to come in. And we're going to talk about where to track commissions next. All right, so you've added your clients, you've added your trip, and now you've added your booking. The only thing left to do is get paid, right? So to track that, you can actually utilize the commission section. Located on the left-hand side, go ahead and click that tab, and you have a few options. You have my next check, received, paid, due, adjustments. So received is monies we have received. Paid is monies we have paid out to you. Due is money you have due to you. And adjustments are positive and negative adjustments made to your account for various reasons. Let's say there is a commission recall and we have to take some money back. Or um, you are underpaid and we have to send some money to you. So it's um, sometimes good, sometimes bad. But we just want you to be able to keep track of that. And of course, my next check is self-explanatory. That tells you when your next check is coming and how much it's going to be. Of course, like a good business owner, you want to be able to run reports on this information, and you do have that functionality. Again, on the left-hand side, under, right underneath the Commissions tab is the Reports tab. Here you can view your projected income, commission earned, and it's not just commission for this year. You can run backdated reports depending on how long you've been with outside agents, um, past due commissions, and you can also uh, pull some charts. So anything you need to run your business is right here. Have a question you can't find the answer to? Need access to a vendor? The MAG SOS can provide the answer you are looking for. In the MAG SOS, you can view FAQs or submit a ticket. To submit a ticket, select Create a New Ticket. Select the appropriate category and type a subject. Enter a brief description. Set your priority and hit Submit Ticket. Once your ticket is submitted, you can track it under the ticket section. Here you'll see the status of the tickets, what has been completed, and if they need any additional information.